Well, who are the fit and proper businesses and individuals to fund arts and culture in 21st century Britain? Sponsorship of the arts runs to a total of £420 million in the UK. But tonight, 89 of the UK's most prominent artists have written to the director of the National Portrait Gallery to demand that the oil and gas giant's involvement with the BP Portrait Award is ended because of what they describe as BP's role in furthering the climate crisis. Their sponsorship is part of the 7.5 million deal with four of the UK's leading cultural institutions over the next five years. And BP currently also has a representative on the judging panel. This letter is just the latest in a series of protests and boycotts throughout the cultural world as attention turns to who funds our arts. Some of the most prominent artists in Britain are on the list. From Cornelia Parker, official artist of the 2017 general election, to sculptor Dame Rachel Whitreed, and Turner Prize winner Sir Anish Kapoor. Internationally renowned artists whose work is fated all over the world. There has already been a number of attempts to highlight what the artists see as the disparity between BP's business model and the promotion of culture. Only last week, Mark Rylands resigned from the RSC over the oil giant's sponsorship of its youth ticket programme and in 2016 BP pulled out of its sponsorship of the Tate following a series of protests. So far the response from the National Portrait Gallery is to stand by their sponsor of 30 years. Increasing pressure is not just on BP but other philanthropists to prove their income is unblemished. But can every penny donated really be squeaky clean? And without income from BP and other global international companies, does the UK risk losing its standing as a cultural superpower? Well, here to discuss these issues, we are joined by the portrait artist Paul Benny, who's one of the signatories to the letters of the National Portrait Gallery, and Daphne Todd, who won the BP Portrait Award in 2010. Uh, good evening, uh, both of you. Uh, first of all, Daphne Todd, um, how important to your career was it that you won that award in 2010? I think it's important to every artist who gets exhibited. Um, there's a whole hinterland of good that comes from this sponsorship. And if those who wrote, in my view misguidedly, wrote that letter and signed the letter, if they were to dissuade people like BP from sponsoring this exhibition, Vast numbers, I think 1,500 or more artists have been shown. Um, they're shown th in the middle of London throughout the summer. That's, that's a wonderful opportunity. And all sorts of art colleges behind them sponsoring um, teaching painting, teaching portrait painting, which has gone from many of our um, yes, I was going to say the value of portrait painting is not held in such great esteem as it once was. Do you think this award keeps it up there? I think it was instrumental um, under an earlier sponsor in keeping it alive at all because conceptual painting came in in the art colleges and portraiture is such an integral part of our history. Because of the Reformation, it became very important for artists in this country who'd lost the sponsorship of the church mm -hmm to be able to earn a living. So they went around knocking on doors and saying, you know, do your portrait, Gov. Do your portrait, Gov. Well, one of these people that does the portrait, Gov, is Paul Benny, who's signatory to this. Um, surely you wouldn't want to take away the idea of Daphne's achievements and the other people that have achieved so much under this award, sponsored by BP. I, indeed not. No, I, I'm, I'm a beneficiary of, the, of the BP award and have been for, for many years. I've entered and I've won mm -hmm. the prizes there. So. I'm, I'm very grateful for the way that, uh, look, the, the, the issue is not sponsorship here. We're all, I mean, we all know that it's vital to have sponsorship and all of the artists who've uh, participated in this, in this competition, this prize, and all the other uh, exhibitions that BP and other sponsors sponsor throughout the arts have all benefited. So we're all, in a sense, in this together. And I don't think there's really an argument about that at well, we all. We each have but, a choice, But if don't I, we? let's just finish, we, if we, if we need sponsorship, then the question is who is sponsoring it? Yes, and, and the question and, is and who and also decides who makes that exactly. often a moral decision. So I would, I, would, I would take an example, which is only a few years ago, the Tate Gallery who parted company, mm -hmm. uh, as did the Edinburgh International mm -hmm. Festival with BP, and uh, they don't seem to have suffered financially 
buy that at all. In fact, the sponsors were replaced very quickly. So are, and you, I would are suggest you saying that the sponsorship by BP tarnishes the prize? It, it, personally, for the artists involved, uh, who are signatories to this letter, uh, and there are more people coming up to stand uh, up and talk about this, it is becoming increasingly difficult to associate yourself with a company that's un it's undoubtedly making a difference to the environment. That there is, I think, not a single member of the Royal Society of Portrait Painters has signed that letter, and that many of the actual portrait painters who have signed it, who you asked to sign it, who were on the uh, list as I was, that were asked to sign it, have not signed it. There's now, a good why reason would that for be? That. And we were written back to by many of those artists saying, that although they agreed with our uh, position, they were very afraid of the repercussions uh, within the system that we all are of being blackballed. And, well, you know, they blackballed, but whom that's very interesting, that people thought they were going to be blackballed from what? That was their words. Uh, well, so, from, from, from having representation, not, I don't but, agree that they would be, but right. they were afraid that, of that it. Was it. Yeah. So, but you know, the, the National Portrait Gallery has made it clear that they are going to carry on with their sponsorship. So what, so what actually do you, what is open to you to do? Now you've done this letter, should you just not go and be protesting at BP Garages? I'm not quite sure what you do I, I next. Think, I think it's a conversation, and I think we... All They're are, adamant, though, at the moment. We, They're backing we, BP. We all have very good um, proposals for alternative forms of sponsorship. I mean... It's very clear. There would the be a knock-on effect. There would be a knock-on effect, Paul. Well, there hasn't they've been already, with the tape. The, 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 yeah. They've already... The, the BP... Um, sorry, uh, was sponsored by um, a tobacco f uh, firm to start with, and demonstrators succeeded in stopping that happening. And you agree with that? Um, I don't agree with them. any demonstrators being... Uh, acting illegally and but, stopping people but, entering but the gallery, about, which what is about, what happened. But what about things like, I mean, it's not just about, uh, I, I was just, you, you didn't say whether you agree with the tobacco sponsorship uh, ban, I'm interested in that, but what but, are also Shell, Sackler, BAE Systems wanted to sponsor a Northern Exhibition this year, that mm. was not. I, I there will know, always be a reason, won't there? Yeah, but, but, I mean, but isn't that... As isn't, portrait painters, we, we, don't, we don't ask each of our sitters what's in their background, do we? Often, you know, often there have been occasions where I haven't been able to paint somebody for the uh, reasons you're talking about. Well, that's so your you personal um, choice. This is my choice. You're taking the choice away. That is, wait a minute, so, so I think you've been a, asked to po paint somebody's portrait, but because you don't agree with whatever their politics or whatever, you've declined. It was declined. very extreme, yes. It was very extreme. Decline, Tell yeah. me, though, if BP was to continue sponsorship but do it anonymously, uh, would that make a difference? Uh, I think that's an extremely hypothetical question, number well, one. And also, I think, given that BP's sponsor, out of the four major sponsorships, mm -hmm. they're all incredibly high profile, and they have the highest reach of all of the potential sponsorship they could do to people who really need it, they don't. They, they sponsor very well, high profile. High profile. As, as so they, so, no, there's no such thing as a free lunch. So, so they wouldn't, they just wouldn't. Well, you, you say that, but actually if things are changing, I wonder if you think that's a possibility, that actually philanthropy becomes, and for many philanthropists, it is anonymous. They don't need the glory. We all know that big companies, it's good for their own cultural probity or whatever to be sponsoring something. But why don't they do it anonymously? Well, the protesters are trying to stop um, BP from producing oil, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Now, well, civilization, absolutely. yes, civilization as we know it would come to an end because there are some 6,000 products that come from oil. It's not just fuel, mm -hmm. it's yeah. things like Vaseline. Mm. And, mm. and 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 um, asphalt and mm. all sorts of extraordinary things and plastics. Mm. Now but you may want to stop all that, but you can't stop it overnight. But but can and by you all stop means it? encourage them we, to, we, we, to we, do we, them we, we, mu we must just look at countries that have already done this. Yeah. And in Germany, for instance, there are sixty percent of their energy production is is yeah. is produced by. Renewables and, uh, and, and 48% of that companies is turbines. has been reclassified and by the FT w w as non-renewable. Non we, 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 you do know that. And that, but, that um, you know, I, so, that, so that year on year it changes and, and gets. And yeah, it's actually clear. It, that, so, uh, what, so it's what, so clear in that in 20 world, years' time there won't be cars on the street that will be petrol and diesel world, driven. They'll all be electric. In a perfect world, you have sponsorship that's, that's utterly, I don't mean clean in renewable sense, but I mean that it is not tainted. Is that possible? I do believe it is, yeah.
I mean, there'll there, be something there, there else. Lot, there are lots. There'll be something else in the closet. There'll always be something that somebody objects that's to. That's not a reason. And whether it's that a sexual thing. That is absolutely thing. not a reason to, to not make a point. It, the thank, only, you, thank you. The only people much. that will suffer will be the artists who are the poorest people in the country. Thank you both very much indeed. That's all for tonight. Emily's back on Monday. We leave you with news of a 6.4 magnitude earthquake in California last night. No one was killed, but several young people actually looked up from their mobile phones and thousands of YouTubers suffered sundown when they were forced out of their basement layers for the first time in years. Good night. Depictions of what was happening made me go, yeah, no, I don't think that's for me. That doesn't we seem like a movie. We just had an earthquake. We're having it right now. This is yeah, the first one I've on. ever felt, you guys. Your little Groot thing is moving. And yeah, Groot, Groot is waving back and forth. We're, we're, we're actually having an earthquake right now. Wait. Yeah, you guys can see. It's still going on because you can see my microphone. You can see oh the my God, it's still, Okay, this is, oh, a, oh, this is a big one. We're going we're gonna to step out, guys. So. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, God.